Some of us are not so fortunate. We end up taking the PTE more than once. Some of us quite a few times. So what happens if your scores come back ridiculously low? Should you file a complaint or ask for a rescore? The answer is yes. But we're not going to file a complaint or ask for a rescore for the purpose of changing our score. Then why are we going to ask for a rescore? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. But before we get into that, my name is Sonny and this is Sonny English. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because I provide real tips and tricks on how to get your PTE score. So y'all ready for this? Let's get into it. Once again, I do encourage everyone to challenge the PTE any chance you get. But again, the reason is not for them to increase our score. We're not doing it for the purpose of changing our score. And I'm going to talk more about that towards the end on why we want to do this. But first, let me explain. We can actually only ask the PTE to rescore our speaking and open-ended questions in the writing. So that means, yes, they will take a look at all of your speaking and then they will only take a look at your summary writing and your essay writing. We should all know by now that the scoring and the PTE, they are actually connected, right? So what does that mean? Well, if you got a low score in the writing, it might not actually mean you did bad in the writing. So if you ask for a rescore, it might be a waste of time and it might be a waste of money. And yes, they might actually charge you for the rescore. And to tell you the truth, I've never actually seen anyone get their scores changed from a rescore. And it's not even a secret. If you take a look at the PT website, they will tell you straight up. Don't even expect your scores to change when you ask for a rescore. Take a look at the website for yourself and see what it says. Now, can you see how many times they say it is unlikely your score will change? They are setting your expectations really low right from the beginning. They want you to know you don't have a chance here. Let me show you another example to why I say PT is bullshit. Take a look at this letter. This was a student of mine from a couple years ago in Saudi Arabia. Before we met, he had gotten a really low score in speaking and he asked for a rescore. PT told him that they couldn't change his score. Surprise, surprise. And here are some reasons why. So they mentioned that this person didn't have the appropriate pace for their speaking. They didn't have the natural rhythm or the clarity. They also talked about how the speaking lacked the fluency and pronunciation components. Basically, to sum it up, he didn't sound like a native English speaker, right? You can't argue with that because the fact is he really isn't a native English speaker, right? Now, since then, I've had other students file complaints and ask for rescores for their speaking. And you know what happened? They sent them the same letter. They all got the same letter. So what does that tell us? Well, to me, I feel like PTE is not even checking anything or rechecking anything. They just send you that same stupid letter, right? Now, let me bring this back. Remember last month, um, my colleague went and tested to see if there's anything that's changed in the PTE scoring, right? We haven't um, done the test since March, so we did it again in September. And um, she got 50 something in speaking. Now. That can't be. So what did we do? We filed a complaint and we asked for a remark because for her to get 50, ah, that's kind of impossible unless we were trying new techniques, which we were not. And this is what PT sent us. What do you notice right away? It's the exact same letter. Ain't that some bullshit? Well, you see, the problem this time around is the person that they send that letter to is a native English speaker. And it's not even her first time taking the exam. She's taken it many times before, got 90 in speaking. She's even taken it again after that test, also got 90 in speaking. So PT expects us to believe that. All of a sudden, she didn't sound like a native English speaker. Get that bullshit out of here. And the truth is, you can't win against them. All right, so when you ask for a rescore, you're not gonna win. So knowing that we can't win, we still want to challenge them. And that brings us to why we still want to challenge the PTE any chance that we get, right? And that's because free test. What do I mean by that? Well, 
They might not change your score at all, but if they do find any irregularities that happen during your exam, more likely than not, they'll give you a free test. So you have to document everything, report everything that you feel like it's not normal to you, right? You got to report it to the staff members that's working that day. So if you notice that maybe you're having mic issues, raise your hand, report that, change computers if you have to. If you're having sound issues, if you're having keyboard issues, if you have pen issues, bring that up to the staff members. If you have issues with the staff member bothering you while you're taking the exam, tell them that you want to file a complaint, you want this to be reported. And then when you get your score and it's not the score that you expect it to be, file a complaint directly to PTE. Make sure you have anything that you can reference as proof and you want to do this within 14 days. The best thing that can happen is they give you a free test the next time around, right? Well, sometimes I actually see them just give you a free mock test, but that's still better than nothing. And the worst thing that can happen is that they reject you, but at least you tried because these tests are not cheap. They're very expensive. So if you have any opportunity to file a complaint or challenge them because they feel like that it affected your score, just do it. There you have it. We're going to challenge and file a complaint with PTE. Any chance that we get knowing that they're not going to change our scores, but if they do find anything wrong during the day of the exam, at least we can get a free test. So I hope the information was helpful. Once again, my name is Sonny and this is Sonny English. If you thought the video was helpful, please check out my other tutorials. Remember to give me that like and subscribe because I provide real tips and tricks on how to get your PTE score. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.